Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be my top five highlighters from the drugstore or affordable brands. I find it so amazing that you guys trust my opinion and you constantly ask me what's my favorite, you know, highlighter or my favorite blushers or my favorite foundations. And a lot of you say that anything that I've recommended to you guys that you've really, really loved. I love finding amazing, products that are affordable. I mean, doesn't everybody? So I'm gonna share my thoughts with you on some of these products right here. Or the first highlighter I'm gonna discuss is this one here and it is from Seventeen, the brand Seventeen. I don't know if they sell the brand Seventeen in the US or in Canada or places like that, but I know that they sell it in the UK and Ireland. Seventeen is like the younger sister of number seven, which is a Boots own brand. Seventeen would have been like one of the first makeup brands I was ever introduced to along with Rimmel. And recently they're really up in their game with like cream products and they're coming out with eyeshadow palettes. They're coming out with lots of products that I think are really nice. This is their highlighter in the color pink bronze. So it doesn't look too unlike the Bobbi Brown highlighter. And I think that's where they got the kind of hot process behind this highlighter. Now what I usually do is I usually swirl all the colors together, but it gives off this gorgeous highlight to the skin. Like, isn't that beautiful? And I usually find with highlighters from the drugstore or from affordable brands that they can be quite powdery. And if they're not powdery, they're very glittery. I am so delighted to show you guys this. I know I talked about it before in another video, but I just think it needs another mention. And it's a beautiful highlighter and I think it's only about seven euro maybe eight I mean who could go wrong with a seven or eight euro highlighter with that pigmentation uh -uh, I don't think you could the next highlighter is probably one that you're sick to death of me not only using but talking about and it is the wet n wild boozy brunch this is their I don't know like did this come out in the Fergie collection and then it got like popular so they kept it on I don't know and I just love like the whole pattern on it can you see that I hope my lights aren't blinding you guys sorry it's really 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 crap today because the weather is really sunny but so I can't have my blinds up and it's just having a glare on my face so I just put my studio lights on I hate using them because they wash out some of the colors and I just like I said swirl it all together and it gives you kind of a goldy yellowy bronze Kind of highlight I don't know if that's evident there on camera there's tons of videos of me using this talk about it a lot boozy brunch is the shade a lot of people said they find difficulty actually getting hold of this I feel like as long as I've been talking about this it has been out of stock and the only place I can see it in stock is Amazon but definitely when you see this in stock next time pick it up because you will be blinding everybody with your highlight it is beautiful I highly recommend this the next highlighter I want to talk about is one that I totally disagreed with everybody on when this came out. I was like, no guys, this is crap. It's so glittery and it's just not pigmented and it's just not what I want from a highlighter. But I have since changed my mind. And this is the Catrice bronzer, sorry, bronzer. This is a Catrice highlighter. We're on a highlighting video, actually. This is the number Light Infusion 010, and it looks like that. Now, when I first got this, my issue with it was the sparkles. I hate sparkles or glitter or anything like that in a highlighter. It just ruins my day. I want it silky, creamy, buttery, and very, very blendable. I don't want glitter-looking highlighted cheeks because that's just not the look I'm going for. But this had like a film over the top and once you kind of got rid of the film, then you were left with the gorgeous highlighter. So it has like glittery film on the top. I recommend taking like uh, some sort of cotton round or something, just kind of getting rid of the top layer because you don't want glitter anywhere near your face unless you like that kind of look. But this is what the highlighter looks like. It is beautiful. The only issue I will say with this highlighter versus all the other highlighters is this is a little bit more of a subtle highlighter. If you like subtle highlighters, you're gonna love this. Catrice does a great job in their formulation that's one thing I have to say about the brand they always formulate everything really 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 well the only thing about this is like I said it is very very sheer but once you build it up on the cheekbones it gives a gorgeous glow to the skin if you like subtle highlighters then you will love this but if you like a little bit more of an intense highlight then I recommend going in with this maybe on a, on a heavier hand or layering it up but it is a beautiful one and it's like less than five euro the second last highlighter is from Colourpop so you have to buy these products from their website. I'm hoping someday Colourpop will like open a shop or distribute around Ireland maybe to Debenhams or something because I think it is a great brand. This is the highlighter and it is in the colour Wisp. Again this is another one that I said was quite similar to the Gilded Holly Honey. 
<laughs> from Laura Geller. I think it is quite similar to that highlight and I, I love this one. It is a gold highlight so it's a bit different to the other ones that I've shown where we kind of have a yellowy one and then we had kind of like a creamy one and then the first one was like more of a pinky one. This is your upfront like gold highlight and I absolutely love this. It is more of a cream finish to it so don't be scared or alarmed by that if you do get this and you're like whoa it's cream what's she talking about? I don't know if you can see that there in the back of my hand. I'd say it's more of a moussey formulation. <laughs> trying to get that word out there and I just think it is so gorgeous I really hope you can see this the lighting in here is rubbish today but take my word for it it is a gorgeous highlighter and just like tapped across the top of your cheekbones it just makes your skin glow and it's just gorgeous great on any kind of skin tone I think it is beautiful really really affordable and I highly recommend picking this up if you can get your hands on some Colourpop products they are shipping internationally now which is great and I cannot talk about drugstore highlighters without mentioning my bae this is from Sleek Cosmetics and you're probably sick to death looking at this. This is their Salsas palette so you get three powder shades and one cream highlight. They are just gorgeous. This is one of the most creamiest, butteriest palettes ever. It's beautiful and I just love the pigmentation of it. Once I place this on my skin I'm like wow cheekbones for like forever and it can be seen from space. I've talked about this palette umpteen amount of times. It is definitely by far one of my favourite favorite 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 palettes from the drugstore bar none any eyeshadow palettes highlight palettes anything this is my favorite one ever sleek has since brought out their cleopatra palette i got that sent to me there last week i haven't really played around with it too much but i'm gonna talk to you about it again i'm sure eventually i highly recommend this to you guys i think everybody should own this palette it is a little bit more on the pricey side for drugstore i think it's about 13 euro maybe 14 but you are getting four highlight shades in it and the quality of them is sensational so I'm gonna put that down before I blind as all. Well. So guys I really hope that you enjoyed that video I really liked making it for you and I just wanted to talk about some of those highlighters some of them are not really talked about enough and some of them I don't even give enough love to so I needed to share them with you guys today and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up tell me what other products you would like me to do a top five on I've done like top five palettes I've done top five highlights end products worth your money or the top 10 or whatever I've done a lot of these videos anyway in the past I will link down a few below if you would like to check them out but if there's any others you would like to see it then please let me know and I will do that in my next video hopefully and I will talk to you guys very very soon I love you all Mwah. bye